gentlemen. I would love to answer your question, but you know what? You should have called me yesterday because I do have an excellent plan. Apparently, you need our help yesterday to figure out how to answer this statement, because you couldn't. We would be living in a very dangerous world if governments would just make the public policies and these sort of plans, these um, bandage plans and these better than nothing plans. Because what you are trying to do is sell the image of Plan that is that is very simple because the 19th century has tried to sell um, English as required subject in all to the schools and making it part of the PSU entrance test would actually make us all speak English magic. Um, so what I'm trying to say here, simplistic, is inevitably to translate English for a wider portion of our society. And let me just clear the confusion: it is not obligatory. From first grade to fourth grade in our system today, there is no regulation. Um, so what are we trying to say here? Mandatory, did that work in China before? No, it didn't. It did not work. And don't even get me started talking about the quality or the capacity of the teachers, because that, I mean, you weren't even able to answer it. Including English as part of the PSU would solve the existing social gap. Uh, Daniela, Carolina, Mauricio were able to show you that you would actually increase the social gap because children in lowest income would not be able to enter the university. Judges, my last name is Gomez. I wish that you could understand. I'm a Chilean and I am fluent in English. But you know why? Not because of mandatory English, but because I had access to books, to technology. And just consider putting your kids into a public school to learn English after their plan is implemented. Would you actually do it? I have a son, and I would never do that because it would put the risk of my son's education because of that plan has no efficiency. Thank you. Thank you.